Hey guys, what's up? This is J-Rom, and I'm about to show you how to keep things in key with the transposer MIDI effect in Logic Pro X. Let's get it. Dab. Guys, and this is how you keep your instruments in key when you're making a beat. Now this is important if you want your stuff, your harmonics and everything to sound good. And when, you know, people are playing, you know, if you want people to play your music out or just keep your stuff in key with your auto-tune, all this stuff. Things don't sound bad, notes don't sound bad, out of place, you don't want that. So this is what we're going to do. I got something laid out with the chord I want to play in the major pentatonic. And also, when I play the chord, it is in the root of D. So that means that the chord starts on the D note. So I want to change my bass to the D note, to the root, then also change the scale to the major pentatonic, because that is the chord that I'm playing, it is in the major pentatonic scale. So, when I play, all the notes that I play will only be notes that will be played in a major pentatonic scale. All the other notes, if I play a C, if I play a C sharp, whatever, if you see it blacked out on here, it will not play, but these will play. And then you can also delete those notes or add a note if you want to. So, here we go. So I think I might kind of found something a little that I think I kind of like. So all I do is, of course, turn on your click. Then let's try and stamp it out. So now we already got the bass in here. I can just add some drums or maybe I can add another synth and then you know keep that in the same transpose so I could go I got already something up here so I could just go to this pick out a new sound all right and maybe we'll do something like a bell or maybe some strings or a lead And of course, you gotta set your transpose. See what transposer, see what the MIDI effect transposer does is it blacks out the keys that are not in scale. And it shows you the ones that are in scale. And you should keep it that way. And, uh, yeah. See, if if you if if you change the transpose up or down, it's gonna change the key of the tra of the notes that you're playing, but it's gonna, you know, octave, make it octave up octave down, octave down by semis, but at the same time, you're still going to be playing the notes in key. It won't change. So... Up. 
So yeah, all you do is just keep changing it up and however it sounds good to you. Obviously, when you're making your beat or your song, you know, if you got a singer in a higher key, you might want your lead in a higher key. You know, that's how you're going to do it. And as you see, no matter what key I've been playing, when, I, when I've been, you know, playing with the beat, it's been in key. It hasn't been out of key. It's not been some crazy wonky sounds that sound crazy. <laughs> Won't play the ones that that will. Hey guys, this is J Rom, and that was how to keep your sounds in key with the transpose MIDI effect in Logic X. Enjoy it.